Today I'm going to tie a copper top in red. You can tie them in purple or copper and I think red's a, a great summer steelhead fly for, for bright days. I'll start off with a TMC 7999 number 4. use red thread you can use black. I'm going to start at the head of the fly and just lay down a base. I'm going to go right back to just the point of the hook and I'm going to stop there. I'm going to take some red crystal flash. What I like to do is get four or five strands and I think the good reminder here is you can always cut off excess if you want to tone it down a little bit but you really can't add any more on. So what I like to do here is I'm going to tie on just a little bit longer than the end of the bend of the hook and again I can I can trim it later. I like to throw one loop over and then lift the whole thing up and set it down and that lets me really secure the wraps down and then I'm going to pull this up, wrap up to the front of the fly because we're going to use a wire body on this so we want everything to be really consistent here and the reason I stop right at the point of the hook is I can sort of tweak everything and adjust it when I get back so I'm going to come back lay it right over the top, hold tension on both get it where I want it and then wrap it down and then I can hold everything up, sort of push it back, and that'll allow me to flip everything up on the back of the hook. So I'm going to come back just past the bend of the hook, kind of pull everything tight, and let it go there. And then I've got my flash for the wing still here that I'm just going to set down on the bench. Again, clean that up just a little bit. I'm going to go back up to the eye of the hook. And then I'm going to take some medium red ultra wire. You're going to need more of this than you think you will. It's a pretty big fly. And then what I do is I come back to right where the fold of the hook eye is and that's where I'm actually going to lay this down. So I'm going to lay it right in there so I've got a nice stable body. It's flat. getting a little bit tighter towards the back so that if nothing else we taper to the larger side as we move forward. I always tie flies, steel it flies in dot thread so there's a reality there that you break your thread sometimes and I'm just going to keep going over the top. I'm going to just make a couple of wraps over where I just broke off here grab that other thread, pull it tight and again just keep keep going back here. So now I've got a nice level strong base for me to wrap my wire over. Get my thread out of the way. And then I'm going to pull this out at a 90 degree angle and I can either wrap it sort of by hand or I can use a Norvice here and the trick is you actually want to hold the wire back at about a 15 degree angle and that'll really push those those wraps together so I just spin the vise and just slowly let the wire slip through my hands and there's a pretty good amount of wire on here too so it helps add some weight to that fly And I'm going to wrap all the way up to where the eye of that hook comes around and stops, even though we're probably going to wrap back over the little bit here. I'll finish it on top, give a couple of good wraps there. 
And then what I like to do, instead of helicoptering this whole wire, I actually like to pull up with my left hand and then actually helicopter here with my right. And it, I think it just breaks off cleaner. For some reason I've started doing that. It just works a lot better. So now we've got our body of our fly. So the next step is, I don't think the material here is really critical. You could use even chenille, but I use some black peacock ice dove and some angora in about equal amounts. And I'm just going to mix those in together. I probably got too much here. Because really we're just creating a little bit of a of a bump in front of the right behind the hackle. Wax my thread a little bit here. It's just beeswax and make a small loop. And I'm just going to pick off some of my dubbing here and set it in the loop. It frankly doesn't even all need to be inside. It just needs to be close by because it will get picked up when I spin this up here. Spin that up tight, half hitch my thread off here, and then I'll spin that up and I'm going to just start to cover the very final wraps of that and I'm just going to let this sort of go haywire here for a second. Let it go forward, let it go backwards. Finish off that last thread wrap there. Again this creates a bit of an underwing or under hackle. You could even brush it out a little bit. Just adds a little bit of flash and a little something to hold that hackle and wing out. When we get that done there, it's a really simple, easy fly to tie. So I'm going to pick off some slopping in black. This has sort of got a greenish hue to it. I'm not upset about it at all. You could use a just a standard saddle as well. I just I I just really like this stuff and the way that it looks. And I just prepare the feather back to the point that I've started to get um, the barbs that are about the right length, and I just leave that tip on there. I'm gonna tie in on the side closest to me. We're sort of on top there. Make a couple of wraps, pull that top feather over. Make a couple more wraps. You can pluck this off, or I typically just cut them. Really adds a lot of durability to the fly than just tying it on one way. I'm a big half hitch, I call it saving my work, so I'm going to save my work. And then I'm just going to wrap on until I feel like I've sort of got things covered the way that I want them, which is typically three to four wraps. That looks good to me. Finish it over for good measure, pull it back at a 90 degree, two, three, I kind of pull everything back here and take a look. I know a lot of guys are small, small head guys and I probably consider myself sort of in that camp even though I know many argue that the big head can be just as much or more effective. But I like to set myself up for that small head there. 
So now I've got a fly that would probably fish great completely on its own, and then we'll add in the final flash wing. So again, I'm going to take off three or four, five pieces of flash, which I'm going to fold in half. And there's a couple ways to do this. One of the ways I like to do is just fold it around my thread here. And what that allows me to do is just drop it right where I want it. On top of the head. And then a lot of times I'll actually let go because I want to get a couple of good wraps over the over the initial and then I pull the other side over and go over the top and get those as well and then this wing I'm really shooting for right at the bend of the hook so I'm going to pull it back sort of measure and sometimes I'll sort of kind of move my scissors around a little bit so that I not everything is cut exactly the same way at the same length so if you cut everything exactly the same length and sometimes the fibers will stick together. I'm going to build a small, or I guess what I would call a medium sized head. Splay those out a little bit. Check my work here. Throw a whip finish. Because I'm going to come across with clear cure, um, I don't spend a lot of time putting a bunch of whip finishes off here. So I'm going to take a little bit of this here, I'm going to drop on an initial, let it soak in, hit it with a light for just a second, just enough to cure it, and I hold this uh, bottle away from my, my light here as I'm doing this. Sometimes I'll just do it all in one shot, but again I'm just Laying that on, building up the head, hit it with the light a couple of times, do the same thing to the underside. This is really all for me, it probably does absolutely nothing for the fish. And then what I like to do is, in case I missed any spots here, is I'll, I'll take and sort of spin that fly for the full 10 seconds here. And there we go. There I'm done. It's a red copper top. I think uh, the next version will be in purple. Oh, head and sound.